The student pilot who died trying to land a Robinson R-22 helicopter near Feltz Field yesterday afternoon was chasing a dream. We now know that 29-year-old Peter Hecker was behind the controls of that helicopter, and according to a childhood friend, Hecker had always wanted to fly. KXLY Force Tanya Dahl is live near the crash site tonight. Tanya. Well, Robin, I did get a chance to sit down with a close friend of Pete's who told me that the 29-year-old actually planned to switch careers. He wanted to become a pilot. Originally from Dayton, Washington, he moved to Spokane to study computers, got a job, but his true love was always helicopters. It was out of character for him, kinda, but that's what he wanted to do. Becoming a helicopter pilot, that's a dream a normally low-key Peter Hecker was chasing here at Feltz Field Airport. That is until he crashed late yesterday afternoon in this backyard just a few blocks away. It's voluntary. You can fly whenever you want. And the, the weather wasn't great. It just, I wish he would have stayed. Childhood friend Philip Fletcher says Pete started taking flight lessons with inland helicopters in February. By day, the 29-year-old worked as an IT guy for Idaho Department of Lands. But those who knew him well say he planned to make flying a career. Uh, it's just something he always wanted to do since he was a little, um, he was just really interested in anything motorized. Inland Helicopters confirms that Pete had a student pilot license and enough instruction to fly alone. In fact, he'd been on a handful of solo flights before yesterday's tragic crash. He hoped to take friends on future flights. He had asked me if I would and I said yes, but I think he was probably waiting until he had some quite a bit of experience as a solo pilot. As investigators try to figure out why this helicopter broke apart above a Spokane neighborhood attempting to land at Feltz Field, Pete's longtime friend says he died doing what he loved and knew there was a risk. He knew they were really dangerous, but he just, that's what he wanted to do. And investigators with the FAA and NTSB have been out here all day trying to piece together what happened. It could be months before we get an official cause. Uh, inland helicopters actually grounded all of their flights today, is what we were told. And the company says that they have been cooperating with investigators. The company or the flight school actually also said that this is the first and only uh, accident the company's had in its 14-year history. Reporting live, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.